What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Slay Island and in this video I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to green in NBA 2K21. This is game breaking and it literally takes no skill at all. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. So yesterday, the first patch for NBA 2K21 came out, and this is what Mike Wang tweeted. With patch 1.02, target window for shot aiming depends on how quickly you move right stick to start a shot. Slow flick equals left, fast flick equals right. So it's under your control now. You can also use shot aiming with meter off for a small boost. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys what exactly he's talking about and then I'm going to show you guys how to green every single shot. So I was going on Twitter and I saw Fab tweet this clip right here. He literally holds a rubber band down on his controller and look at this. His player is greening every single shot. So what did I do? I'm like, okay, how can I figure out how to do this but without a rubber band? and how to make it so we can green every single shot. Like, I know you guys are seeing this clip. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, 2K. The game should not be this easy. But I am going to show you guys how to do this. But before I show you guys that, I'm going to show you guys exactly what Mike Wing is talking about with the new shot stick. So basically, here's what it is. Basically, when you move your right stick down slow to shoot, then your window is going to be on the left. So when you move it slow, you go down slow, and then you have to move it slowly to the left to get into the window. When you flick it down fast, it's a little bit to the right. So then you would have to slide your right stick to the right to get into the window. You can see right here, I did it slow. So then I would have to slide it to the left. But honestly, this right stick shooting is trash. He made it harder. I would not suggest anyone uses this for any game mode, for any type of shot. Honestly, I think it's just completely trash. But... Mike Wang also said you can also use shot aiming with meter off for a small boost. Before the patch, you could not use the shot aiming with your meter off. So let me show you guys what this is. By the way, the player I'm on right now, I have a 93 pointer and I have zero shooting badges. So what I'm gonna do, leave shot aiming on, sh leave my shot timing on and just take the shot meter off. That's the only thing I'm gonna change. You can put it on off or free throws only, either one, it doesn't matter. So going into my my court here, I'm gonna go ball machine. And this is my first time trying this glitch. So what I'm gonna do is, I saw how Fab held the rubber band down. All I'm gonna do, hold my right stick straight down and see how it works. See if I can green every single time. I'm not editing it out. This is my first time trying it. I'm gonna show you guys what happens. So like I said before, this player has a 93 pointer, zero shooting badges. So here we go, straight down, I'm holding it before I catch a shot, I got it slightly right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inch my stick a little bit to the left, and there you go. And now once I find that spot, my right stick, I'm holding it there before the ball is thrown to me. I'm not moving anything, I'm not touching anything on my controller. The right stick held directly down. You have to make sure you put it exactly down. See there, it was a little bit to the left, so I'm gonna give it slightly left. But even when you don't do it perfectly, you're still gonna make a lot of whites because the shot aiming gives you a boost and no meter gives you another boost. So I'm telling you guys right now, this takes zero skill and you will make a lot of shots. So let me explain it one more time. All you do, hold your right stick down when the ball is thrown to you, your guy will shoot it. You don't have to touch any buttons. You don't have to let go of your right stick. You will green. The only thing that is important is having your right stick perfectly centered straight down. Now this is not gonna work off the dribble very well. This is strictly for catch and shoots. So if you're in the park, you're in the corner, they throw it to you, you have your right stick down, and guess what? You're making it pretty much every time and you don't have to think about aiming your shot. It doesn't take any skill. So as you can see, this clearly works with a 93 pointer, but now what I really wanted to see is I, if I could hit with a low 3 point rating. So everybody knows in this year's 2K, when you have a low 3 pointer, it's so tough to hit threes consistently. So here's what I did. I brought out my 610 glass cleaner that only has a 65 3 pointer and one shooting badge. As you can see, a 65 three-pointer that's it 
And like I said, one shooting badge, bronze catch and shoot. So honestly, I didn't really think this was gonna work. I was like, there's really no way I'm gonna be able to green consistently. It's probably not gonna be that consistent. Some may go in, some might not, but let's see what happens. So here we go, same thing. We're going to the ball machine. And once again, I'm holding the right stick straight down and seeing if I can green shots. So I started mid-range because I was like, okay, my build really can't shoot. So let me just test if I can shoot mid-ranges first. I found the sweet spot and look at it. A bunch of greens in a row. Obviously the game is broken. They're not going in, but those are green. So I'm like, okay, now it's time to go to the three-point line. Once again, all you do, hold the right stick straight down. Don't press any other buttons. Let's see what I can do. Slightly left on that. So I'm gonna just nudge it a little bit to the right. And guess what? Green bean. And now I'm like, okay, that's just one. And then slightly right, so I'm like, yeah, it's really not that consistent. But you gotta keep going, and guess what happens? I start greening every single shot. All you have to do is just to put it directly down. And I'm not even, all I'm doing is using the right stick down, and I'm not letting go of it. And look at this, I'm greening consistently in the corner with a 65 three-pointer and only one shooting badge. And honestly, you know what this makes me think? If people start using this method, honestly, pure locks can shoot pretty much any build. I feel like if you have a 53 pointer and five shooting badges, you can probably hit in the corner and that can change the whole meta of the game. So as you can see, I'm greening from the corner and now I'm like, you know what? Let me try the top of the key because there's no way I'm going to be able to green from the top of the key. Guess what? Still green. This method takes no skill at all. I'm greening every single shot with a 65 three-pointer. So let me know down below what you guys think of this video. Go try this out in the park. Go try this out in Pro-Am and tell me how you guys like it. I appreciate everybody coming through and watching this video. Once again, please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And just so you guys don't think I'm trying to lie to you guys, let me show you guys my three-pointer, unedited. This is the same build. I have a 65 three-pointer. Appreciate you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching this video. Until next time, I'm out.